G'day everyone, Happy New Year uh, 2023. This is my first video for the year, so I'm excited about that. Uh, I've missed you guys. So, I was supposed to work today, but when I rocked up to work, the car park was full, so I drove back home. Let's do some camping. Let's make a video, go camping and just have fun. So my most successful video I've done on YouTube to date would be when I slept in this tree house. That was about two years ago. So it's got 6,000 views, which is massive for my channel. And um, I'm going to attempt that to mark the two year anniversary of that video. Now it's got two years of more weathering, um, the wood's probably rotten away more and I'm definitely heavier so let's go and have a look at it well there it is up there but man that looks a lot different to the last time I was here we'll go up and have a look Man, this is looking as dodge as ever. Oh, that's molded way up there. Oh. Here we go. Might attempt this without my bag. Right, oh, let's do this. It's working. Yep. Righto. That bit done. The ladders of death. And now... Oh. Just having a quick look at this. This... I don't even think there's enough of a platform up here bit hard to do this filming but you put one foot there you get up you go through there and you wrap around up there to the platform might actually put the camera down to this one Oh, oh God. What? Righto, we've got a bit of a problem. It's uh, worse up here than what I thought. Um, well, we'll take a break from, from that, and I've got to address something. I have a one, I have 1,000 subscribers. I know, I know, I know. Um, I've got to thank one person in particular, but I'll get to that later. 1,000 subs. I never set out, well, when I set out with YouTube, I never had any goal but 1,000 just rounds it off to that four digit number and it means over a thousand people want to watch watch my content, which makes me feel good. I get asked, what's my life like now with 1,000 subscribers? Well, it hasn't changed. I, um, it's changed a little bit. I get recognized in public. Oh, Jordan Wally. There you go. Can I have your autograph? Oh, no, I'm just a bit busy. <coughs> really? <coughs> really? And, you know, I'm always hounded by the paparazzi. Jordan Wally. Oh. 
When are you gonna get a haircut? Don't know. When's the next video? Don't know, I'm not sure. I thought the last one sucked. Yeah, well, that's not. Listen, it's... you paparazzi need to just leave me alone, okay? I'll... Is it true you have an affair with Margot Robbie? No. Uh... How does it feel to have a thousand subs? <laughs> but no, other than that, I'm still the same person, still the same Jordo. It hasn't changed me whatsoever as a person. Where is he? Oh, yeah. What the hell? Matty, what's the word, brother? What are you wearing? Don't worry about things you don't understand. Now, how are you doing for cash? Put your hand out. Now, I might actually, I might just take that one back. I need that one as well. Five bucks. Now, you're doing pretty good for yourself, aren't you? I might actually take that. All right, let's get in the car. And I've had a few people shout me out um, over the couple years I've been on YouTube and they've all helped. But Sam Bananas last shout out he did, I think I gained 500 subscribers. So the people that came over from Sam's channel, thank you very much. Hopefully you enjoyed the future content. And uh, Sam, thanks a lot, mate. Uh, I really hope I get to meet you one day. You're a legend and I consider your, you a friend. And that's the best thing about YouTube. I have friends in different places in the world just because of YouTube. So that is the coolest thing about YouTube. Anyway, enough of the uh, D and M's. Um, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I've packed for this. Like, I don't have a tent. I have a tarp, a mattress, a pillow, and a light sleeping bag because it's so hot. I don't really want to be on the ground with um, with just that. I can get away with it up in the trees, but I don't know. I do not know. Oh. Oh. I've seen everything I needed to see. We go on the plan B. <sighs> Righto, back on the ground. Ah, uh, that wood, it was too rotten away, broken away. Wasn't even enough platform really for me to sleep. And once, and it was loose, once I lifted it up, um, I don't know if you've seen those spiders in the shot, I just went, nah, pulling the pin. So, um, plan B, I didn't have a plan B, but, uh, I'm doing a video, I'm doing a video, so, um, we'll just have to camp on the ground, which I have no problem with, at all, but, uh, it is summer, snakes, more bugs, um, I did go in the shops today for a mosquito net for this, for this video, but they didn't have any, we'll just have... We'll just have to tough it out. Tough it out. Right. The search continues. Just having a break. Over this crest, there's a car. It's parked. I'm guessing that's whoever has the motorbike up here, but it's right where I want to walk. But there's a track there. I wouldn't have to walk through all this high grass. But, um, I'm determined to find a spot. Should be rough, but I'll find a spot. I think I'm just going to set up here. It's got that spongy sort of uh, bush. Don't know what it's called, but uh, it'll be soft. It's flat. Not much of a sight, but, um, it's a place where I can uh, rest my head for the night. And that view's not bad. Mate, 
this is rough as guts. Look at this setup. Lightweight sleeping bag on the mattress. And see this. I thought that I thought that was a tarp. Um because that bag there, it's always set up, ready to go at a drop of a hat. And I had a quick look in there, I seen that blue material, thought it was a tarp. That's actually a poncho. So it's half half covered uh, for the mattress, but there's this spongy sort of grass bush stuff, so and then up top here, got my pillow. So she's pretty rough, but you know what? It'll do. All right, let's see what we got. So, some beers, one for you, of course. I'll just put that down there. If you don't drink that, I will. And I made it a point to bring a, a banana in honor of Sam. So, this is this is the the part I enjoy the most. I've done the setup. I've done the. Um, looking for a place I've got a place it's set up and it's good so now it's a bit a bit shaken up You know, it's always times like this when I've had some time to think, I've had some quiet, I've had a few beers and I start being very re reflective of what coulda, woulda, shoulda have been and um, when I was younger I got accepted to this special school and I wanted to attend but I just never ended up attending. Have a good first day at Hogwarts. Thanks, I'm a bit nervous, slivering. Walk into the brick wall. What the? F and I always think, what my life would have been if I attended that school. The bloody mattress has gone flat. As I was sitting on it, eating, I could feel it coming down. That looks closed, so. That ain't looking good, might have got a hole in it. Oh, you always get lightheaded. All right, stay pumped up, you bugger. Stick might have poked it, I'm not sure. It might have already been flat. I... Oh, that's gone down right away. And this mattress is busted. I'm on some pretty spongy grass, so worst comes to worst, I might get away with it. I'll... Oh, that's probably why it busted. Look at this. I say it must have hit one of them. These things are bugger of things. Can't even buddy pull that off without. I'll check underneath it. I had a good look before I laid it down, but something must have popped it. There's nothing bad under it. I checked before I put it down so 
just double check there's nothing bad it must have already had a hole or something in it but i'm still going to try and sleep here it's on spongy grass so just be hard it's it is what it is it doesn't create that much of a mattress anyway this mattress so we should be right Righto, this is not too bad, I can do this, I can, I can do this. That's what I can't do though, this is why I wanted a mosquito net. It's going to be a long night I think. So it's almost night time, full moon tonight. But the best thing is, it's a nice cool night. We've been having hot, humid nights, and that would have been a killer because I want to jump in my sleeping bag. Um, just so all my body's in the sleeping bag, I won't feel things crawling on me. They can crawl on the sleeping bag all they want. But, um, I don't think I'm going to get a <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get a good night's sleep. Yeah, I'm going back to watching my videos and I'll see you in the morning. That was the roughest night I've ever had. <coughs> I feel like I've played a game of footy. That was a really tough night. Got barely no sleep. I slept. I was still up at four o'clock. I was on my phone at four. I just couldn't fall asleep. So it's about six o'clock now, four to six. That's when I fell asleep. But this is beautiful. You know, I'm, I'm actually proud that I stuck this out because we had a setback with the tree. The mattress must have a hole in it. And it did cross my mind, you know, just to go home, but I've got a thousand subs now. I can't do that with a thousand subs. With great subs comes great responsibility, as they say. Yeah, I'm happy I stuck it out. I'm packed up. That's probably the best thing about that sort of setup. There's no tent to unpack. And being in warmer weather, nothing's, you know, wet or dewy or anything like that. So, oh, I'm glad that's over. But walk, got a bit of a walk to my car and probably go home to bed, I'd say. No, I actually got a busy day today, so no. No bed, but um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.